I'm Danielle, I'm a Global Citizenship Education Officer at Via Don Bosco, a Belgian NGO that works with TVET schools. And I'm very excited to share with you the still ongoing project Youth for Change, a two-year project that revolves around the SDGs and empowers young people to make a positive change in their communities and beyond. Youth for Change is a project where pupils from Belgium, Tanzania and Madagascar work together to make positive changes in their school environments. We emphasize an inside-out approach. We start with the individual, focusing on their unique talents, different forms of intelligence and cultivating a growth mindset. Who am I? What are my talents? What is my understanding of global challenges? From there on, we extend this inside reflection to the outside world, comparing their dreams and their values to those of peers worldwide. One of the key aspects of Youth for Change is our ability to tailor a workshop to the specific needs of the school and the pupil population, adjusting them as necessary. We encourage young people to understand their place in this interconnected world, recognizing how their actions influence global systems. The pupils tackle topics such as sustainable consumption and production, mental well-being, zero hunger, and engage with these topics deeply during hands-on activities. We encourage young people to make this world a better place. After an initial workshop on talents, I noticed that some of the pupils were struggling with blocking thoughts. I have no talents. I would like to engage in some form of social welfare, but I'm too shy. And this prompted me to design a growth mindset workshop to stimulate a positive attitude. I also noticed that visual exercises helped a lot, such as explaining the concept of neuroplasticity with a piece of rope, explaining how positive thinking can stimulate new neural connections in your brain, but also writing negative thoughts on balloons and popping them. These exercises were particularly relieving uh, and positive for the pupils, and they stimulated a the sense of social connection. The activities we did helped to build trust, both in themselves and amongst each other. I was really touched to see how open pupils were about their behaviors and thoughts, even those behaviors they would like to change, such as buying fast fashion, feelings of insecurity about one's appearance, or for example, not being great at maths. And every time a pupil was insecure about something and was sharing something, this was rewarded with applause in class. Pupils worked with a social grocer, a clothing sorting company, a secondhand shop, a farm with care horses, and an elderly home each putting their unique talents into action and focusing on one of the different SDGs. Reflecting on the first part of this journey, I have to say I'm immensely proud of what our Youth for Change pupils and teachers have achieved. Their dedication, action and openness have been truly inspiring and I'm so, so curious to see what the next year will bring. Youth for Change is not just a project, it's a movement towards a better future, one step at a time.